So I'd like to introduce you to uh, one of two solutions that we offer at Acura Compact Technologies. Behind me is our turnkey solution, which effectively is made up of two parts. Uh, on the right is our, um, our, our, our heating unit, which is the, comprises the fan, the electricity that generates the heat and the energy to uh, dry the product. And then here, this very long um, drying zone, as we call it, is where the actual hay goes inside. So the entire product is made of uh, galvanized steel and it sits on top of this concrete base as you see right here. So basically customers who purchase our turnkey uh, drying solution, they provide the concrete base and we provide all of the other pieces which includes the heating zone and the drying zone. Let me take you inside to show you what, what it looks like. You can see starting off that there's these great sliding doors, right? These really uh, great sliding doors, also made out of steel, but they're light enough to slide. And what they do is they give you maximum flexibility so that you can put dry or square bales inside of the drying zone at the same time. Um, in this case, our standard unit comes at, uh, dries 48 bales at a time. Uh, we can also customize a drying zone to suit your individual needs. And if you take a look, you can see that there's already some bales that are inside here. These happen to be square bales, and I want to test their humidity. So what I'm going to do is take this uh, standard drying probe and insert it into the hay. And you can see it slides right in, which kind of indicates to me already that it's pretty darn uh, dry, very low humidity inside. Um, and yeah, these have come down to a humidity of about 10%. So these are ready to go. They can either go stacked inside of a warehouse or they can be fed directly to animals. Okay, so here we are at the far end of the drying zone. And what I'd like to do is talk for a second about the microclimate that's created inside the drying zone for effective hay drying. If you look up here at the very top, you'll see these metal louvers. These louvers act as an escape hatch and it allows the warm, humid air that builds up inside the drying zone to escape. So effectively, this technology, the combination of the heating zone, the drying zone, and these uh, escape hatch louvers allows you to dry pretty much in any conditions, doesn't matter whether it's super humid or not. We isolate the hay inside here and we optimize its conditions. So effectively, the heating zone has a computer in it which monitors the heat produced, the speed of the fan, the humidity, all of these factors, and it keeps the temperature and the humidity constant inside the drying zone. But as part of the evaporation process, the humidity is going to come out of the hay and then it's going to be resident in the, in the air inside the drying zone. So that's what this technology does. It, it's, it uses basically pressure, the changes in pressure, to allow that moist humid air to escape and it optimizes your drying time. So we've already shown you our turnkey solution and now what we'd like to show you is a second solution uh, which is a collaboration between AgriCompact and you the client. So as you recall there's two pieces to the, the hay drying process. There's the heating unit and there's the drying zone. So under the collaborative um, solution AgriCompact provides the um, the heating zone as we saw in the previous part and the client is responsible with the help and guidance of, of the AgriCompact uh, architects to uh, construct the drying zone. The one I'm standing in right now is uh, made of concrete construction. It holds 50 round bales and you can see for example here's the imprint on the floor where the round bale would go and the heat would rise up from underneath the concrete floors. You don't have to build it in concrete. You can use wood, you can use metal, you can use concrete. It really depends on what materials you have available to you and how you want to use the structure. Um, what's important is that when you build the structure that it is very well insulated so that it maintains the heat, of course. Behind me is a little door and on the other side of this door is the, the heating zone and when the door is open then obviously there's this big hole where the heat pumps into this concrete room. I mentioned already earlier that you'd be advised with uh, the help of the AgriCompact technologists and architects to help design this. We won't leave you on your own. And as you can kind of see right here, um, this is a multi-use structure. So it's used to dry hay bales during the, the uh, harvest and hay season, 
and then it's used to store these large trucks, or it can even, even be used as your warehouse to store your, your hay or your dry products in the winter time. So that's kind of one of the benefits. Here's the sliding doors uh, that you saw similar on the, uh, on the turnkey product. These obviously are built to measure to uh, the height of this building, but it's the same concept. You put your hay inside, you'd slide these doors all the way closed, seal this area up tight, then you'd go and turn on your, um, your heating unit and the process would work exactly the same way it does. Okay, so now what we'd like to do is show you the results of the product after it comes out of our hay dryer. This behind me is Alpha Alpha Hay, which has been dried uh, from a 35 degree moisture content at the point at which it was cut and baled, and it was reduced down to 13% after having gone through the Agri Compact hay dryer. The average measurement of these bales is about 220 centimeters, and in US measures that comes out to about seven and a quarter foot. Each bale weighs around 1,000, between 1,000 and 1,100 pounds, and you can see that the hay has been uh, dried to a consistency which is really tightly compacted. It's not fluffy, the moisture's been extracted from it, and these square bales are quite consistent, which is really what you're shooting for. You can stack them all the way up to about seven to eight high because they really uh, have a dense consistency. And you're gonna see when we pop open a bale in the next phase that the hay is green on the outside, green on the inside, and this is because uh, the process that we use ensures that no fermentation goes on after the hay is cut. So the hay remains fresh and green and free of moisture. So the alpha alpha hay behind me was dried to a, a, a humidity of 13% in uh, the AgriCompact hay dryer. So what this means is at 13% the hay can be stacked and then it'll be ready to be fed to livestock um, this coming winter. In the case where you want to feed your hay immediately to your livestock, you need to reduce the internal humidity to between 8 and 10%, and you'll do that directly inside the AgriCompact hay drying machine. How do you figure out what the internal uh, percentage of, of humidity is in your hay? Well, you can use a standard hay probe like the one I have in my hand. You'd insert it directly into the hay and you can see you know it goes slides in nice and simply because there's not any tough packed wet spots inside when I register this one the relative humidity comes out to be 12 percent inside this hay bale so what that really means is that it'll probably require another 30 60 days in order for it to reduce its humidity between 8 and 10 percent and it'll do that naturally while it's stacked up here in the shade if you want to see what the inside of this hay bale looks like come with me and I'll show you Okay, so I promised to show you the inside of one of our Alpha Alpha hay bales. And so here we are. We're inside the barn. This is the hay that we saw earlier inside of the AgriCompact hay drying machine. It was reduced inside the hay drying machine to about 12%. Now it's ready to be fed to the cows. So take a look. I mean, this is, this is good stuff. You can see the color of the hay is impeccable. I wish you could smell it because it still smells like fresh cut grass. You remember what fresh cut grass smells like. It's, uh, it's dry to the touch, but it smells very um, uh, flavorful. And I happen to know that the cows love it. If I was a cow, I suppose I'd love it too. Um, you can see how rich the color is. And so this is the result you're looking for and this is the result that you'll get with Agri Compact Technologies hay drying. Have a good hay. So hi, I would like to introduce you to one of our clients. Her name is Sara Angeli. She's the owner of the Angeli Farms here in Central Italy. Hi, Sara. <laughs> Sara's going to answer my questions in Italian, and I'll translate them back to you. Allora, Sara, um, hai comprato un seccatoio da AgriCompact, no? Sì, ho comprato un seccatoio da AgriCompact. Siamo molto soddisfatti perché siamo riusciti in questa maniera a migliorare. Yeah, so she said that she's extremely satisfied with her production or her, uh, excuse me, her uh, purchase of the Agri Compact because it's helped them to increase the quality of their product. Allora, eh, mi può fare un contrasto magari tra prima e dopo l'Agri Compact? Certo. Prima il nostro fieno aveva scarsa proteina. Mm -hmm. Purtroppo eravamo dipendenti dalle condizioni climatiche e quindi non riuscivamo ad avere un prodotto eh, giovane, quindi 
digeribile e protetto. Con il significatorio agricolo siamo riusciti ad ottenere questa combinazione. So Sarah tells me that before the, she purchased the AgriCompact machine, their um, hay, their products, their hay, their straw, lacked protein. And this was largely because of the environmental conditions that were around on the farm. So if there was too much rain, if there was not enough rain, if it was too humid, it would affect the quality of her hay. So after having bought the AgriCompact um, hay dryer, it really solved this problem and it created this robust, healthy hay that has been contributing to the health of their their cows. Questo, questa combinazione ha fatto sì che le vacche mangiano un prodotto molto appetitoso per loro e che mi fa produrre un latte più abbondante e meno costoso perché possiamo in questa maniera risparmiare sui prodotti che dobbiamo comprare yeah, so she says that the cows really enjoy eating the food, so it, it, it's really a pleasure for them. Because they're enthusiastic about eating this healthy hay, they produce more milk. So their production is not only of higher quality, but of higher quantity. And so the financial effect is that the company has been able to um, save their money um, from, uh, they haven't had to basically purchase extra hay, extra products outside of their own farm. So their investment at Agri Compact has been a savings because they've been able to make one-stop shopping without having to make third-party acquisitions. So, thank you, Sarah, for your time. It was a nice to meet you. It's been a great pleasure. And we'll see you next time. Nice to see you. Okay, nice bye to see bye. you. Ciao.